Welcome back. Today we're going to try and fit the floor in the car, weld it up and hopefully get it all sorted. Right, so how I think we're going to do this is we're going to cut the excess parts all round here and then cut it along here as well but leave the part that we need so we can just cut it out here and weld the panel We'll cut out the repair panel here and so it will just slot in here and we can weld it in. And we also need to drill holes in this panel so we can puddle weld them into these sections and frames or the frame of the car. Open eye. Right, so we've just cut out this section here, that was the section that had the rust on and was pretty bad. And now we're going to hopefully start looking at the floor and fitting that up so it'll fit perfectly in. Right, we are now, we are now going to cut along this edge along here because we don't need any of this repair panel and that'll just give us a bit more room to be able to fit it in and then draw up where we need to cut it this side as well. So I think to properly test fit it, I need to cut this side as well. I've marked up roughly where I need to leave some and hopefully I've got it in the right place and so now we're gonna have a go at cutting it. And now that is that side, Cut. So we have the little tab just for where we can repair the step sill and hopefully this one will go in a bit easier now. Scribed it onto here after fitting up there. So I'm, I've cut a little bit too much off here but I'm sure I'll be able to just patch a new bit in. Um, let's cut it out. So I've just cut this panel out now, so hopefully we'll be able to fit it into the floor and hopefully this will fit nicely into the step sill. And then we obviously need to grind down all of these, make them all nice edges and then start drilling in the spot weld holes. Right, I'll tap this one in as well. But as you can see, there's a tiny gap, but this one really fits nicely in to this, so it forms a very nice patch. And then under here, we've got, obviously, to, there's a gap here, but that's where you put the spot welds. We'll drill the holes in, and it forms a nice bond when you weld it. Then now I just need to scribe underneath so I can mark out where all the spot welds need to be, or the the holes where I will then puddle weld. I've just finished cutting all of the holes out to do the puddle welds and I just, as you can see it looks like it's been sort of shot. But these will be very useful when we have to start welding because we can weld through the holes and it will form almost like a spot belt. Right, welding in the floor last time gave us a bit of a gap underneath the mainframe in the car and the floor. So I spoke to some people and they said that you should try and sort of use a jack. So we've done that and the gap's closed up so we can weld in these ones. 
and then we'll do the same to the other side. And that is the floor all welded in. Obviously we have to do a few bits at the end and then grind them back, but it's all welded in, which is quite good. However, because it was a steel craft panel, where I cut it should have been, or where I cut it was just before these parts on the panel, but for some reason, it has left a gap here. So we're gonna cut just a small piece of metal out, a strip, and then just bridge it off, um, just bridge it across with the welder. I've just cut out a strip of metal, as you can see down here, and it's gonna work as a bridge, so we can weld down this side and then down this side as well as attaching it to the main sort of frame of the car. So I've got this holding it in place and we're just gonna weld that up. If you like this video give me a thumbs up comment down below and if you want to see future videos subscribe